fighter were out at the logistics center using portable entry simulators. The goal of these drills is to work on getting into locked doors in a quicker and more efficient way, which means not having to kick in the door.
when you take that jump, you don't feel the fall. My baby is in the house, my baby is in the house, and I'm yelling and screaming and telling them my baby's in the house. A Saturday night sleepover erupts in a mad panic as an angry blaze invades from next door. In the process of getting the kids out, I thought my best friend grabbed my baby and she thought I had the baby. We panicked then I realized she was still in the house. Lieutenant Chuck Potts and Miles Dutton go into the dark inferno. Went in the first bedroom, couldn't find anything. This fire department, this fire department, where are you? Ten-month-old Caitlin is alone. Flames attack the walls around her. Toxic smoke smothers the air. The fire had already broken through the roof. It just looked like the whole building was on fire. It was hard because, you know, you didn't think anybody would still be alive. I just dropped, I just started praying, I just dropped to my knees. And that's when I heard a kind of a, a faint kind of crying sound. And I told my lieutenant, I said, hey, I, I think somebody's still in here. How did he hear anything? Surrounded by a thundering blaze, his head covered in layers of gear, the sounds of his own labored breathing filling his mask. But it was that small voice that kept hope alive. And then we ended up finding the crib. I put my hand down in the crib and I was able to find her legs. But with the deadly flame circling the crib, is the infant still alive? When I put her in my arms, she was still breathing. Breathing, but the rescuers brace as they look for burns. She didn't have any burns on her whatsoever. After treatment for minor smoke inhalation, Caitlin is back in her mother's arms. Those who saw the fire used the same word to describe this powerful experience. It's a miracle. It's, it is a miracle. There was somebody else in there with us that had a bigger hand on that situation than, than us. The good Lord above. You know, I'm a believer and I, I think he was in there. I think he had a hand on that little girl's life. We were just a tool. That's the only other way to explain it. There's, there's no way she should have been alive. It was God. Like, it was no other way that anybody can tell me that God's not real because he saved my child with not a burn, not a scratch, not anything. This thankful mother doesn't realize the men who rescued her daughter have come to join us. I have two gentlemen I'd like for you to meet. This is Lieutenant Chuck Potts and Miles Dutton. Unless she's doing fine. Yes, it's nice to meet you guys. Mm, thank y'all so much. Doing? She is doing awesome. Caitlin is at ease. I'm glad you was making those sounds right there. <laughs> Resting in the arms of the faithful men who answered the call.